So who should be your first booking for your Iceland elopement day? Hey, I'm Lisa McWetter, Iceland elopement photographer in Iceland and I do help also couples eloping in Iceland, helping them planning their day. And one of the biggest questions that eloping couples do have is who should they be booking first for their elopement day? And this is just a quick walkthrough video of it. If you want to be learning more about this, just scroll below to the description and you'll find there a blog post link where you can read more about things to ask even from your vendors you're thinking about booking. But hey, let's jump to this video with the topic number one, who you should be booking first for your elopement day is a photographer. Now, local photographers or photographers that do travel a lot to Iceland to photograph couples, they aren't really that many and they are quite, quite well booked. So I would be recommending that if you're planning to elope in Iceland, get in touch with the photographers as fast as you want because Many of the photographers right now are already sold out for the year 23 and getting fast booked for the year 24. So I wouldn't be wasting any time on sending an inquiry to the photographer. And another thing, um, also depending on how you like to plan your day, is it more you want to be doing the planning and photographer assisting? or someone to take everything out of your hands and just do everything for you, you might want to be considering also an elopement planner or a wedding planner company. That would be another one to book quite fast besides the photographer. And the second one, I'm saying it's the second, <laughs> second one you should be booking is your officiant or priest because they are also <laughs> just, well, I wouldn't say few, but some of them are booked quite well in advance, so they are already quite limited spots. So after you have secured a photographer, you really love to capture your day. I would suggest on booking an officiant or a priest for your day. So you get to choose from the officiant or priest you really want to have for your day. And that way secure to have an amazing person because when you get the chance to book the amazing person, that will secure that your ceremony will be a very memorable one. <laughs> After that, I would suggest um, um, deciding which part of Iceland you would be get married at. Also booking your flights, accommodation, those are quite big, big number three part things to book at. After that, if you want other vendors, that's pretty much up to you how you want to be in what order booking them. Because there are, for example, hair and makeup artists, florists, um, videographer that I really highly recommend on having. And also, if you want to be doing activities on your day, for example, why not to get married in an ice cave? You might want to be then already booking a private tour. And I would suggest on having a private tour because in a public tour, you would be going to having your ceremony with 15 other people you don't even know about. Anyways, read more about the blog post below because there's also added questions you can ask from your officiant, florist, hair and makeup artist, videographer, you name it, <laughs> all in the blog post. It was so great to have you here and let's build an amazing Iceland elopement for you and have an amazing planning time. See you in the next video. Bye!